five ugly truths about perfume oil business that you need to know as a beginner or not a beginner you still need it to upgrade yourself you know doesn't matter well, this video is for you thing you need to know is the quality of the perfume oil you're selling doesn't matter whether you're a wholesaler retailer importer exporter it doesn't matter the most important thing is the quality of the perfume oils applies to everybody quality of the perfume oil is divided into three grades and i'm going to tag a video that i made about two to three years ago about qualities of perfume oil so i don't bore you in this video you can check it now if you're buying a particular quality you need to know what quality you bought whether you bought the first grade second grade or third grade let me just quickly rush into it and explain to you what these grades are the first grade is the undiluted one it's not mixed it's in its pure form and it will last longer on the skin or the clothes now the second grade is 60 40 60 percent of the oil 40 percent of um the mixing solution so that you get more quantity than quality why the third one is sometimes between 40 60 40 percent of the oil and 60 percent of the mixing solution to even get more quantity than quality now you know the quality of exactly what you bought from the supplier or whoever you bought it from you would know the next step to take now this next step is going to guide you on what to do when you already know the quality of your perfume oils number two has to do a lot with number one which is the quality when you know the quality of the fragrances then you can now go to the next step which is number two is knowing the differences and um, display of fragrances this is where the notes come in you need to go and google the way that fragrances display themselves there are some fragrances that you smell them immediately and then you get the the, the, the smell immediately why there are some fragrances that needs to settle first before they start to show itself that is why you need to know the three stages of fragrances you need to go and study the stages of fragrances so that when somebody buys for example a margin salute and then you know a margin salute shows themselves immediately it's, it's strong it has really strong ingredients that you don't need to wait for too long while um let me give the likes of um ck one man ck one man by Kevin klein you, you don't have to be in a hurry you have to be very patient when you understand how different fragrances display itself you'll be able to understand how to market it and explain it better to your clients number three do not buy fragrances based on what other people are selling now you can also buy based on what other people are selling but the percent the the percentage of these two is a an 80 20. 80 is you going to know your own clients and knowing what they want and 20 is a possibility of you even buy even buying what other people are selling and getting it let me go into it let me explain to you if you're a beginner you come to me i would ask you first of all your environment where you stay a lot of things about you for me to be able to recommend for you and then i would chip in that you need to study you need to listen to your environment your clients which one they are requesting more for that way you start building what your clients want more and what they want less but if you're not doing this if you are just basing it based on going to check other people's price um fragrance list and copying that same fragrance list you would lose it because at this point even you as a vendor that is just starting out into the business you are learning the process and you are getting to know your clients and what they want that is what they call customer relationship with your clients even if it's your eye closed so that i can say ah mrs chilima likes this particular fragrance she always like this this thing smells similar you can now go and say ah, mrs chilima oh, there's this fragrance i got and i think it's going to suit you based on what i know about you this is how you learn on the job number four has to do a lot with number five but let me not just dive into it i'm just putting it out there so you understand it too number four is knowing how to preserve your fragrances um you need to go and learn how to preserve your fragrances the way you need to keep them where you need to keep them how you need to explain it to your clients if for me let me just um, i'm gonna cheap this here for free how we handle our skincare routine has a lot to do with how our fragrances are going to last 
if my skincare routine is not good i use a particular fragrance i might say oh this fragrance is not good i might give it to somebody else and that person's skin um care routine is very good the person moisturize do a lot of things when they use that same fragrance that i neglected they are going to get better results than me which means that you need to learn all these things and incorporate the skincare routine for your client to also know how best to use it you cannot be doing rub and shine and you expect to use a quality perfume and expect it to and you use a quality perfume and you're getting you're expecting a very high result it is not possible so what it means is that the way you store your fragrances you can't go and store your fragrance in a very bad place if you can look behind me you see that that's my workspace in my fragrances are on my shelf in a place where air can get into them and then they can have a long life span but if you are now keeping them in a hot place hot weather and all that and i'm storing them in a bad place it is not going to be good they're going to be spoiled they are like food that if they're not well preserved they get spoiled and what will happen they'll throw it away and it will no longer be good for human consumption same thing with the perfume oil i think basically this number four i've already given you guys all the expo but it's still good for you to go and do more research learn on it and know how to best preserve it to have a longer lifespan and longevity number five has to do with number four like i said earlier ask your supplier or the company you're buying from the production dates of the perfume not all times you get um to get a production date not all times but if it does beginning you have the right to ask them oh this batch of perfume oils i'm getting from you when were they produced when when what dates what what day what dates what months and what year by the time you know when the product was produced how fresh it is how not fresh you would know how to go best about your business a lot of persons do not know that there's something they call fresh perfume oil and the old perfume oil. There's something called fresh perfume oil, which means that they just produce it like this month and you got it that same month. The one you got from the same company might be produced maybe a year ago and you got it, uh, let's say that same period. That's say, let's say, for example, now you got a uh, perfume oil in 2022, which the perfume oil was produced in 2021. That means that perfume oil is old. Then if you get a perfume oil that was created in 2022 February and you bought it in 2022 March, it means that it is still fresh. The smell and the smell of the, the old one and the new one may be slightly different because it is still fresh and the other one is still old. So the other one has stayed on your shelf, on the shelf, and it has relaxed. It will be different from the one who has stayed who is just still fresh and is coming out so you need to know understand these things you can't just be selling products and just be saying come and buy perfume oil it's good though. you need to understand educate yourself learn on the job hope i have been um helpful to you guys this case where you actually want me to take you on a one-on-one -on -one class i do practical classes i do calculation classes i do everything that concerns perfume oil one-on-one -on -one teaching and if you want to learn on your own gradual process it's still good but available for you thank you guys and and if you have any question or you have any topic that you want me to speak about or talk about in my next video please let me know and i would make that possible nothing is impossible in this space everything is possible as far as this perfume oil business bye